All right, now before I start slapping this thing together here, um, I would just like to say, you know, I know that there's better ways to go about this stuff. Um, this is not perfect carpentry. This is remote log cabin, chainsaw, bushcraft carpentry here. So we go by function and as long as it looks decent, we're all right. For the birds. So these are the the logs um, that made up the bathroom addition that I did last winter, and I'm gonna utilize them here and make my bunk beds out of them. But um, I want to see how well they split. Um, these will be the boards that'll make up the um, what we're gonna lay on here. So I'm kind of curious to see how this works. Okay, so you can see I'm left with two boards, essentially. You know, this cabin's remote, so I'm not gonna haul in lumber here. Um, I just use what materials, you know, I can make or, or have, you know, from the land. So um, these will work nice.
Hey, buddy. Go on, go on. So this will give us kind of an idea what the cabin's gonna look like here now. Bunk beds are going here. Um, the split pieces are gonna go, you know, lengthwise on those. So there's plenty of room for the person up top, plenty for the person on the bottom, and I'll have some storage underneath. So now I'm just gonna kinda go along and smooth these out a little bit better. They don't need to be perfect by any means because it's gonna have a mattress sitting on them, but get rid of some of those uh, knots and stuff like that as long as it's somewhat smooth it'll be good so that's pretty good right there like I said I could keep going and make it perfectly flat but it doesn't need to be because gonna have a mattress sitting on top so this is just to hold the weight of somebody up and it'll certainly do that all right now before I start slapping this thing together here um, I would just like to say you know I know that there's better ways to go about this stuff um, this is not perfect carpentry this is remote log cabin chainsaw bushcraft carpentry here so we go by function and as long as it looks decent we're all right all right, so I'm going to nail this into the wall. But we want to get this pretty level, of course. I mean, we're not going to use one, but... And again, since these, this, these log walls, you know, they came right from the land, so they're not, they're not perfect they're not all the same exact size, you know what I mean? I mean, there's different characteristics, there's, you know, there's twists, there's a little bit of bends, there's, you know, the different, uh, different widths, so um, the wall kind of, you know, it'll, it's not perfectly, you don't have a perfectly flush wall to go off of. So, you know, like I said, these logs didn't come from a factory, they came from right where the cabin's sitting here, so you just gotta kind of do the best you can and make things look good. All right, I'm pretty happy with that right there. Um, I know that my log wall is level. I can see that that's level, or it's, it's matching up to that. So I'm gonna drive a spike in right here. I think we all kind of get the picture here now. I'm going 
get uh, get one of these boards in all four corners on the bottom and top here. So just to kind of help stabilize it, and I'll go out and make the rest of them here. And then just like log cabin building, you want to stagger your. Well, I'm going to stagger my ends on these. Um, so that way I have, you know, a small end, big end, small end, big end. Otherwise, if you go big end, big end, big end, big end, your whole thing's going to slant. But if you stagger them, then it'll kind of even out. All right, that's pretty good. Um, obviously, I gotta finish nailing them into the wall here so it gets rid of that wobble, and then I'll screw it into the floor too. So um, at the end, we'll have plenty of nails going around in the walls, and it'll be nice and solid. Skeeter! Skeeter smelt or heard something out here. You can see the hair standing up on, the on his back there. Uh, something must be coming through. Maybe after a while we'll go we'll go walk up in there and see if there's any tracks. In a nutshell, that's basically going to be it. I'll probably add one more on the ends right here. Just cut a shorter little piece just to fill out these ends. Because um, I can fit in between that. So a taller person will probably only be able to use this section here. But it's 30 inches wide. So um, that's wider than the cot that I've been sleeping on it is. So should be should be good for a bunk bed. And uh, up top here, see if I can adjust you here but this thing you know it's really solid i have no doubt that uh you know that this is gonna hold up so you know you can see i mean it's plenty solid with it screwed in there you got plenty of room here to do what you need to do roll over um definitely a lot hotter up here yeah, I think it'll be good. Well, it was certainly nice to tackle another little project out here, um, kind of a smaller one, but um, I got a lot, a lot more projects coming up this winter, uh, as you guys know. So I'll be pretty busy, and um, of course I'll have videos of all that stuff. So, and I got some other activities going on out here this winter that I'd like to share with you guys. So. Um, thank you for continuing to watch and subscribing and commenting and all that. And uh, yeah, as always, you know, I really appreciate it. So we'll see you guys on the next video.